Hey guys, I'm not going to do a really formal intro because out of respect for uh, Akira and, you know, just people watching, I think I should keep this as respectful and as, you know, heartfelt as I can. So I'm not going to edit anything out. I'm just going to keep this raw, completely real. If you've been on the internet for at least 12, 15 hours, you would have seen some posts that have indicated and told us that Akira Toriyama has sadly passed away. Um, and I wanted to just make this video and just kind of share how his creations kind of helped me, um, play a part in who I am and like how I approach certain things and like how his, like his overall legacy kind of just like helped people around the world really. So I think a lot of people, um, they do resonate with his works mostly being dragon ball right dragon ball is <laughs> it's it, words can't even put it like they can't even like properly describe it as words can't even be begin to like explain what dragon ball is to everyone around the world and to and akira as well like it's it means a lot to everybody and to me after, I really needed to, before I'm even making this video, I'm making this like today. Um, I wanted to make it um, when I found out, but I also honestly, I wasn't in the right headspace to make that video. I really wanted to make this as clear and concise as possible. And last night wouldn't have been a good idea to do that. Um, to me, I after finding out that he passed away, um, it, it honestly, it made me... I didn't even know that I could feel that kind of grief because like I, I usually I don't even let myself kind of I don't even let myself feel that kind of pain when it comes to something like that. And like when this hit, it hit me deep. It was like a sharp, like a sharp stab right into my chest. It was bad. Because I was actually in the midst of playing some games with my friends late at night last night. And we, me and my one of my other friends, we love Dragon Ball. Like, we love it. Like, we're, like, the biggest fans in our friend group. Like, we talk about it on a constant basis. We were so, we still are so excited for Daima to release. And, like, whenever, like, anything anime related, we just bring up, like, the, the, the excellence of Dragon Ball. And, like, even, like, when it's, like, birthday or gift related or, like, any holiday related stuff, we just has to be something Dragon Ball related. So, like, that's how much it meant to us. And when we found out, it was honestly heartbreaking. It was very sad. Um, and I'm just reflecting on, like, I didn't even know how much Dragon Ball resonated with me until, like, finding out the news again, right? Um, like, for those of you who don't know, um, <laughs> you guys, you can probably tell, but you guys know, like, Vegeta's my favorite character at all. Like, he's taught me a lot of things in terms of, like, being proud of who you are and where you come from, I think that's a really, that's one of the most important lessons I've learned from Vegeta, Vegeta. And also, like, you can be redeemable, like, no matter how bad you are. And, I mean, that kind of can be, you know, discussed and, you know, thought out, but you can be redeemed in some sort of way. And, like, when the going got tough for me, like, just in life in general, I only had was just God, Dragon Ball. That was literally it. I'm a family too, obviously, but, like, when it comes to, like, my like just me personally it's like what i'm focusing on it was just god and dragon ball right and i didn't like i didn't even know like how much dragon ball kind of just like carried through um my life like as someone who unfortunately i came to like realizing dragon ball very late um i kind of wish i knew about it like i knew of it um as like a kid and like a teenager too but I knew of it as a kid. I knew of it, but I wasn't really that um, that invested into it because the only anime I kind of watched was like Bakugan, Yu-Gi-Oh, and uh, Pokemon, right? But then like after that, it was kind of like, it was iffy. I didn't really watch much anime as a kid. I started more, watching more anime um, in high school, but um, it mainly... I started getting into Dragon Ball when, <laughs> shockingly, when uh, Dragon Ball Legends came out in 2018, and that was probably like the, like the beginning of something beautiful. Cause it, I was, 
playing this game and watching the show at the same time and you got to see like this man clearly loves the characters that he creates every single one of them and just seeing that in the game in this show it's like all the time it was beautiful it was so great to see and i got i got dragon ball legends like around i think the dragon ball super Broly movie came out so like it was just a great time it was a great feeling and it just it, it really stuck with me ever since then like I didn't even, I even, I didn't even want it to. Like originally, I was just like, yeah, Dragon Ball is whatever. Like before, like watching it, but after watching it, I was like, dang, this, this, this anime could stick with me for a while. Like it's not gonna leave anytime soon, right? Uh, so there is that. I, I just, I don't know what to really say else because again, it, it hurts, and again. When I think about it, like, for like Dragon Ball, like it's, it it impacted so much people like me, and not like me, right? Like this is for anybody who just, just whether you like it or hate it, you can't deny Toriyama's impact at all, right? It's it's really amazing what he's done. So like, I I gotta thank the guy. Like he, like, it it it's it's again it's so hard to put into words, um. It, I'm just trying to like it, again it's hard because again I'm literally a nobody but like I feel like it's kind of who the show was intended for but well, not just nobodies obviously like, again anyone can watch it but like you know what I mean like cause even for the people that like aren't seen you know what I mean like he might not know everyone like Toriyama doesn't know everybody in the world obviously right but I'm pretty sure he knows how much his show has impacted people all over the world right so it, it just goes to show like how much like love he put into Dragon Ball, right? And for, like for me, like it's just it's it's an interesting thing. It really is because I look back now. And I'm looking at like my channel and everything, and how I've grown since then. Like I've I haven't even realized that like Dragon Ball like literally helped pave the way for my channel. Like it's literally one of the first games I really mained on was Dragon Ball Legends, right? And after that, I kind of wanted to drift off. And, like, let me try TikTok. And then I made a whole Dragon Ball Legends TikTok um, and actually did pretty well. I didn't really notice that. I kind of just, like, accepted it. For, it is what it is, you know what I mean? I was just like, yeah, whatever. It's it's Dragon Ball. Like, it's just going to be around for a while. We, I never really took it into consideration, right? But, like, but, but now it's like, you really look back and it's like my channel and like my content itself wouldn't be what it is probably without Dragon Ball, right? Like a lot of factors weigh into that. Like the Legend series I still do sometimes, the old videos I've done, uh, the bunch of ones I did on TikTok. Heck, even my profile pictures, literally Super Saiyan God Vegeta. Like if that doesn't tell you like the impact, I don't know what else will. Um, I don't think I'll even change that profile picture to be honest with you. I might like Later down the line, I might like, keep uh, the same, like, I might, I'll keep the Super Saiyan God Vegeta, obviously, or just Vegeta in general, but I don't think it's ever, like, just leaving, because that's, nah, man, I, like, I can't, like, <laughs> I can't do that, like, it's, it's so hard to put it into words, like, uh, I've never felt like, uh, uh, like, a, I, I never felt this way before, like, the only time I have was with, like, Stan Lee and Chadwick Boseman those two hurt deeply because like that they both resonated with me a lot and now this too is like damn like him like he was so young I don't think 68 is old it's really not when you think about it it's, it's really not so like honestly I think instead of being sad and even though it is a sad time we honestly should celebrate his life and his legacy because he left us some something great honestly he did um and that is not even just dragon ball it's the plenty of other works that he's been involved in right so many manga art manga artists writers literally like worship this man <laughs> like it's crazy like they literally think of him as like the godfather of anime like it's it's literally insane so it's it's uh, honestly like we gotta just celebrate him if anything celebrate his life celebrate his legacy celebrate his impact on i guess not even just like anime like he not much 
culture references or pop culture ref- references that Dragon Ball has, it's everywhere, dude. Dragon Ball's everywhere. Like, there's not one place where I guess someone doesn't know where Dragon Ball is. It's, it's really insane if you don't know. So, yeah, I think it's just, it's just, we need to celebrate him, honestly. Um, but, like, again, it's hard because this is not something that anyone really saw coming. So, and I know Toyotaro is probably going to have, he, he's definitely going to feel a huge burden on him right now. Like, even though this is something he's been, like, working towards, right? Because there, this, this day was going to happen eventually. It, it was, it's, it was inevitable, right? But, like, I guess for it to happen now, it just, it's going to hit like a truck. But, yeah, honestly, yeah, I just wanted to leave you guys with that. I just wanted to kind of just share my, you know, experience with Dragon Ball and how um, Akira really left uh, a, a good, what's the word? Um, I'm trying to find the right word. Like, not impression, but, like, I don't know. It's just something good. He's left it good with me. Something that really good um, with that. <sighs> it, it, it's, it hurts. It honestly just hurts. It really does. Like, I've been listening to Don Don Kokodo all day today. Like, and it literally, I don't cry. Ask anyone I know, I don't cry. That song brings me to tears now. Like, I don't, like, I wasn't crying, crying, but like, I felt the tears welling up. I was like, no, I can't do this. Like, I can't. Like, it's sorrow. It's so hard to listen to uh, now. And like, just watching the shows now, it's just like, you really got to see the love that he put into it. And it makes it all the more, like, it's bittersweet like that what daima is now because the originality of dragon ball was with kid goku right that's how it started it was goku as a kid and now i want to think this is his last project we don't know if he had more i think he, he might have had some other stuff in the works but the last thing he left us with was daima which is goku and the gang the rest of them being you know reverted back into their childhood forms so it's kind of bittersweet in a way but anyway i just want to talk about that and um Again, you know, we should celebrate Toriyama and, but, uh, yeah, I just wanted to leave you guys with that. Um, again, this, it's unfortunate and it is sad, but again, we do, I, I have to appreciate what he left us with and what he's given to us too. Like, it's, it's remarkable what he's done, honestly. Um, I hope he's, hope he's, in, I hope he's, in, I hope he is truly resting in peace. I hope he's chilling with God and chilling with Kami. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Uh, you know, I hope he's vibing up there. And uh, I want to think for the best. And uh, if this is a lesson for anybody, just make just just know that, like, again, tomorrow is not promised. And make sure you tell your loved ones that you love them. Because, again, you never know when a day like this could ever, ever happen. It could ever happen. So you got to make sure that you at least tell them. Absolutely. But, uh, yeah, I think I'm going to head off. Um, I, again, I just had to get it off my chest. And um, let me know how, let me know what, and I, do, I and one thing I want to know from you guys is what impact did Dragon Ball or Akira Tomiyama have for you guys in whether your childhood or adulthood? It doesn't even matter. Like, I just want to know because I want to know how much people he really reached out to because this really is amazing to see, again, the impact that man had. So that's about it. 